Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we continue disassembling uh, the UZ motor um, so we can finally complete the overhaul and move on to the next stage. Uh, let's get started. Those two guys, they get connected to these two guys. And uh, this guy right there, that one gets connected to this guy. Also, underneath it, I don't know if you can see this, this little sucker right there, that one gets connected to this guy right here, which goes here onto the, uh, onto the valve cover. Also, last but not least, um, that line that you see coming from underneath here, which comes from there, and out through here and that one that one gets connected right here that looks like a fuel line i want to say i know that i'm not going to use this because this is for from what i hear this is from uh, the traction control which won't apply to my car uh, some of them you can find these without this sucker or if you watch a video from calvin uh, from uh, cartoons uh, you'll see how you can eliminate that and connect it put a, a, a hose here to connect to uh, this sucker right here directly like so it'll go from there onto onto this side right here which is something I probably will not attempt this connection right here all these connections they're super duper uh, crisp so you're gonna go through them so be ready to uh, either a replace these or figure something out So this sucker is out. It's uh, two screws, right? It's two screws, and uh, it goes right there. So right here and there. But before you take that out, remember that this guy, this uh, this hose right there, that connects to uh, throttle body. And uh, before you can take that out, okay, this plug right here, which apparently somebody's uh, done something to before, uh, before me. So that plug, that connects here. This hose you see here that goes underneath that sucker, that goes connected there. And then you got this hose right here, that one, which comes out of somewhere over there, that gets connected to this side one. So it goes like so. See that hose there and the bottom hose there. Okay. Now, next I'm going to try to wiggle the uh the intake out see what happens over here you see that's beginning to come out so i see that this guy right here that guy which goes gets uh tied into the screw for the uh this corner screw for the uh intake the upper intake so that kind of slides out here and uh Let's see if I can take this sucker out. It's already moving, it's already loose. Let me see if I can take it out. Because I don't, I've never taken this apart, so I'm kind of learning as I go. So over here, I can see that it's loose. So this guy, that gets attached with the screw. I can see that this guy right here is attached to this, that's loose. So these guys right here, I have to pull those out of here. So let's do that. One. And two. Okay, so that one comes off from there. That one comes off from there. And I think. What is holding on to this side? Who is holding on to here? Ah, this is the plug that comes out of here. That plugs into there and plugs into there. Okay? Along with the field line. This is out. Let me put this right here. 
okay again this guy goes connected to uh, the fuel line through here right here fuel rails feed it up there to the intake and then the fuel rail comes up to here in the front and connects with that guy feeding the other fuel rail wire harness have one screw here one screw there uh, one screw there uh, another one here there was another one here but now that, that broke long before me uh yeah one there one there and the inner ones you have one here and then one there this portion of the wire harness also goes underneath there somewhere and it connects to somewhere down here but i am not going to play guessing games i'm going to take these guys out now to uh, gain access yeah that guy goes here this guy right here goes there and this guy that guy right there goes here and that basically disconnects this whole side of the wire harness but in order to do that you have to take off uh, the exhaust manifold the exhaust manifold goes one two three four uh five six seven eight screws okay in order to take this off before you have to remove that dipstick from here okay it pops out it'll come up through here and it goes through the, the exhaust manifold okay so you have to remove the dipstick it pops out um and in order to get to gain access to these screws you're gonna have to remove the motor mount the motor mount the motor mount has it's one single screw over here maybe the 17 you take it out boom it pops out like that one other thing that i forgot uh, this guy right here this is a heat shield that uh, protects um the wire harness see how it connects uh this screw there and that screw there that's a lot of work just for a freaking wire harness all right so you unplug all the injectors right one two three four uh five six seven and eight but you still got a couple of stragglers so that's still part of the wire harness right here so that sucker unplugged from there there's supposed to be a temperature uh, one find out later and then this guy too so stick those suckers out of there see that little see that little slit right there this guy hooks to the bottom of it like that and then it bolts onto here this is to hold the wire harness so there's two clips on either side i'm assuming uh, here the two there. All right, so this plug comes out of here, right there. And that's out. Oh, that was another one of those clips I was mentioning before. And that plug goes in there. Here's another one of those little brackets. This one goes on the back of here. And put it over here. You know what? They kind of these two go on the right. This is the back. This one is the back left. These two go on the right. Here's another one. Uh, this one's also real funky. So this one goes in the front right. Okay, so this is out. Uh, careful with the fuel line. This guy right here, which goes underneath. Okay, it goes plugged into there, right? Plugged into that one. It gets, it goes underneath this little situation there. So it goes. It tucks under there, so it holds it there, right? Holds it there. This guy. And then this guy now is free to... Oh my goodness! Do we have success? Victoria! Ah! What up, man? Hey, man! Rasta wire harness! No? Okay. Victoria! So the engine is looking a lot more accessible now. It's out of the block fuel line that attaches right here to the um, hooks to lift the engine. Injectors. Injectors. Ah. Well, I'm not sure what that one came off of. I'll have to review the footage. Two, 
next to the screws there, there's a bunch of crud. See that? So what I did was, before I take this off, because that's intake country, you know? I mean, just I scrape this. I don't know what the hell, man. There's a lot of dirt in here. I'm gonna make sure all, make sure all that crud is out of there. And then I'm gonna vacuum it. See that? Almost pull that up. That would have sucked. See this is the spacer that goes there. So when I was vacuuming, it sucked it right up. Hello, low intake. Here's the valley right here, starter, which I plan on rebuilding uh, thanks to a slow car salon. Uh, brother there is uh, doing uh, a, um, a 1UZ engine into um, a Celica. I get a lot of tips from him. He's super thorough. If you guys haven't seen that channel, go check him out. Slow Car Saloon. He's doing the same thing. If you own a Celica and uh, you're thinking about doing this, uh, that brother is doing it well. Another uh, person that I check out a lot is doing a 1UZ swap is uh, Jaff Builds uh, the Project Flexus, which is a uh, Ford Focus and a 1UZ on it. He's going twin turbo on that one. And, uh, videos are pretty good. Check him out too. This last uh, harness that goes underneath the, the what do you call it? The, uh, the intake. Uh, there's only three plugs. Uh, this guy goes there, and yes, it broke. This guy goes here, and yes, it broke. The starter goes there, and there on that one. And the ground for the starter is this guy. So now I should be able to pull this out. There goes the other one, harness. Victorious, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, for those of you who may recognize this sucker right here, yeah, that is a GTS rear end for this guy. Although, um, other, I have other plans for it, so that might be up for sale at some point. Who knows? Let's see what happens. All right, so I got the starter out. Here it is right here. It literally comes out with two screws, one here and one there. And that would be pretty heavy too, by the way. It comes out from here to there. Uh, here's a good tip. See, I put them back here so that I know which screws go where, but particularly with these true, right? That one, that one, that one, and then there's another one over there, and another one over there. Very good tip, okay? Make sure you plug up these holes like so, right? so that you don't accidentally drop a screw in there. All right, well, I hit it with a rag that has some degreaser on it. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot cleaner than what it was. All right, both the uh, distributor covers now are off. Uh, that's, uh, this will be the one on the right. And I see this little rubber grommet. And that little rubber ground right there comes out. See how it has the slit there? That, that pops out. You can run this cable in there and then put it through here and snap this back on so it's uh, leather sealed. This attaches uh, there. Okay. Back uh, guy. That attaches to this guy right here to the front. And these, this cover attaches one screw there and another screw there, which is. Uh, one through there, and another one. I think it's that one down there. I'm not sure. This one is a little different. That little square right there. See that rubber square one? That goes here. And again, this has one screw there, one screw there, one center one, and one down there, and one down there. So, and you'll find it out through there. Nine o'clock. So I gotta clean this up. I'm gonna tidy up a bit so that I'm in a better spot tomorrow. Organize these these um, these parts because they're all gonna get cleaned and all new seals are coming. 
uh, over here. I gotta see if I can, uh, I don't know, if, if I can source all of those plugs. I'm gonna have to go to Toyota or Lexus, see if I can, you know, fingers crossed I can source it from them. And that's it.